Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing about acceleration. Now speed along with direction is said to be something called velocity. Now we have already studied that uh, velocity of an object changes whenever there is a change in a few quantities. That is uh, speed, direction of motion or both of them. What I mean to say is whenever there is a change in the speed of a body, we, we can say that there is a change in velocity or whenever the body changes its direction with even with a constant speed, we can say that the body's velocity has changed because velocity is a vector quantity and it depends upon both magnitude and direction. And whenever there is a change in both of these quantities, even in that time we can say that the velocity of a particular object is changing. Now to quantify this change in velocity of a body when it is moving, there is an introduction to a new concept that is acceleration. Now the change in velocity per unit time is called acceleration of a moving body. Now acceleration is also a vector quantity since it depends upon velocity which itself is a vector quantity. Now unlike velocity the direction of acceleration may not be along the direction of motion of the body. It may be um, opposite to the body or any other direction depending upon the motion of the body. So let's discuss about acceleration in a bit detail. Now let's say there is a straight road and a car is standing here. Now at this instant since the car is at rest that is it's not moving its velocity is 0 meters per second. Now when it starts moving let's say at that instant of time that is 30 seconds after uh, it starts moving its velocity to be 60 meters per second. Now there has been a change in velocity of this car in 30 seconds that is from 0 meters per second to 60 meters per second. Now in this case we can calculate its acceleration or we can say that this motion um, is associated with acceleration of that moving body. Now as we said acceleration is nothing but the change in velocity per unit time or we can also say that acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Now mathematically we express acceleration like this that is acceleration equals final velocity of the body minus initial velocity divided by the time interval in which the velocity has changed. Now here in this case this initial velocity is 0 meters per second because the car has started from rest and the final velocity at that instant is 60 meters per second and the time interval uh, for a change in this velocity is 30 seconds. Now let us take this initial velocity to be u and the final velocity that is 60 meters per second to be v. Now this formula we can now write as acceleration a equals v minus u divided by t where a is the acceleration of the body and t is the time interval in which the velocity has increased. Now let's try to find out the acceleration of this car by using this formula. So the acceleration equals 60 minus 0 divided by 30 which is 60 by 30 which equals 2. Now do you think there is something missing here? Yes, you are right. There is a missing quantity which we call as a unit. Every physical quantity is measured in terms of units. So here acceleration also must be having some unit, right? So let us try to figure out what can be the unit of acceleration. And after we figure out, we'll put it here. Now we can use this formula to figure out the uh, unit for our acceleration. So here the SI unit of acceleration can be uh, 
we know that acceleration is velocity that is change in velocity divided by time taken and the unit for velocity is meters per second that is the SI unit of velocity and the SI unit of time is seconds. So we can make use of this information to calculate the acceleration unit. So SI unit of acceleration will be meters per second divided by seconds. So it turns out to be that is the SI unit of acceleration turns out to be meters per second squared. So let's bring that unit and substitute here. So our acceleration in this case is 2 meters per second square. Remember any physical quantity if you write it without any unit that doesn't mean anything or that we cannot say that it represents the uh, full meaning of that physical quantity. So anyway we have to write the magnitude as well as the unit of any physical quantity. So here our acceleration turned out to be 2 meters per second square. Now let us look at another situation. Now here the road is not a straight one but it is a bent one. Bent at an angle of 90 degrees. Now suppose a car starts from here with a constant speed of 60 meters per second it covers the whole path. Now here we know that speed along with direction is velocity. Now in this example over here, the speed of the car was constant throughout the journey. But when it comes to direction, the car has changed it, its direction at that point. That is, it was moving towards east, but then it has turned to south direction. So there was a change in the direction of this car while covering this path, even though the speed was constant throughout the journey. Now, since there has been a change in the direction of a body, even though the speed is constant, we say that there was a change in velocity of that particular body. And whenever there is a change in velocity of that body, this motion is accompanied with an acceler acceleration. So we can say that this motion is also an accelerated motion even though there was no change in the value of speed of the body just because there was a change in direction of the body. Now let us look at another situation. Now here it, it is the same bent road. Now the car starts from here. It travels up to that point with a speed of 60 meters per second and then the rest of the path it covers with a speed of 40 meters per second. Now let, let us try to analyze this event. Now here the speed of the body that is the car has changed and also the direction of the body has changed. So this would also indicate a change in velocity of the car. Now any change in velocity of the car leads to acceleration. So we can say that this motion of a car is also an accelerated motion. Now we said that change in velocity of a body while moving leads to acceleration. Now what could be the meaning of change in velocity? It means two things. That is, it is either increase in velocity of the body or decrease in velocity of the body. Now any of these changes in velocity may lead to acceleration but different kinds of acceleration. So let's look at those things. So whenever there is an increase in velocity, the acceleration is said to be positive. But whenever there is a decrease in velocity of the body, we say the acceleration is negative. Now when, uh, in which case do we find the negative acceleration of the body? The common experience of negative acceleration is whenever a, a car applies brakes to, to stop. It has to slowly uh, I mean slow down its speed and eventually come to rest and thus in that case we say that the car has a negative acceleration. Now whenever there is a positive acceleration or there is an increase in velocity the acceleration is in the direction of velocity and whenever there is a decrease in velocity 
that is negative acceleration is opposite to the direction of velocity. Now this negative acceleration also has a particular name. We call negative acceleration as this deceleration or retardation. Any of these terminologies could be used in place of negative acceleration. Now let us consider this motion of car. The car has initially had a speed of 60 meters per second but it eventually slowed down and it came to rest that is the final velocity is 0 meters per second. Now in this case it took 20 seconds for this car to come to rest let's say. Now this is our initial velocity that is 60 meters per second and the final velocity that we have is 0 meters per second since the car has come to rest at the end. Now let us calculate the acceleration here. We will simply make use of the formula that we have studied. The acceleration will be final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time taken. Our final velocity is 0, initial velocity is 60 meters per second and time taken was 20 seconds. So now let's calculate this. This will be equals to minus 60 divided by 20 and this equals minus 3 meters per second square. So as you can clearly see whenever the body decreases its velocity we come across an acceleration which is negative in value and this essentially means that acceleration of this retarding body is opposite to the velocity direction. Now this is what we call a deceleration or retardation. So this was all about acceleration and negative acceleration and I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.